All right, pool fans, here we go. We have Karen Kaur versus Brittany Bryant. This is an A-side match. Brittany Bryant comes to us from Guelph, Ontario, Canada. She plays out of uh, Tony's Billiards. She has been playing since 2004. She plays with a Roy Mason Q. She's been in the top eight in the World Nine Ball Championship in 2011. She's a 10-time Canadian champion. She's also a two-time junior world champion. Yeah. So she knows what she's doing a little bit. She can play a little bit of pool. Yeah. And as her Fargo rate would represent. And her opponent, racking at the table now. If you're watching us and you don't know who this lady is, um, I don't know. <laughs> Karen Core, uh, coming to us from right here in Pennsylvania. Uh, Karen has sponsors uh, Baltimore City Cues. Her home pool room is the Spot Fuscos. Uh, she started uh, she's playing with a McDaniel's Q. Started playing pool in 1998, and I, I think that's um, she started playing American pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would think so. I think that's about the time I remember seeing her start uh, playing yeah. in the U.S., playing nine ball. Uh, I'm sure she's been playing pool longer than that. Uh, she is uh, 2017 Rivers Casino Open. She is a 26-time WPBA champion, uh, three-time tournament champion for the, I guess, the Rivers Casino, uh, former world number one and a four-time BCA winner. She is also in the BCA Hall of Fame. And WPBA Hall of Fame? And the WPBA Hall of Fame. We have to ask her to give us her most recent things. In yeah, we, yeah, we can't ask for her complete resume. The match would be over by the time I read her resume. Not that her opponent doesn't also have an impressive resume. No, she does. Absolutely. Brittany's been doing a lot of stuff, causing a lot of waves in the pool <laughs> world since she entered it. Causing a lot of uh, upset <laughs> by, uh, of her opponents. Uh-huh. And, and uh, has the, uh, you know, Kevin didn't read any sponsors by uh, uh, for Brittany. That's because her family completely backs her. In all of her pool endeavors, and yes, her sponsor is the is the Bryant the, family. The Bryant family. All right, so safety by Brittany brings Karen to the table. Yeah, uh, we think uh, is she gonna jump this, or she can she shoot down to the rail and kick the one in? Looks awfully close for a jump shot. Yeah, I think she might be able to go rail first if the side pocket isn't in her way. Yeah, it's hard to tell if she has enough room by the five to, to do that. Yeah. She's, yeah, she's probably going to tie something up. Yeah, she's going to push that uh, four over onto the rail, but cl probably closer to the seven. That's what she wanted to do. Yeah, she wanted that to, give e to get over closer to the rail. And yeah, making position. Yeah. That is something that Karen does a lot. She will take an intentional foul to tie balls up uh, if she doesn't if she doesn't think she can get a good hit on a kick. She, she, yeah. does, she does that a lot. Well, she was looking at, you know, causing two problems. There's already one with the uh, the three and the five. Yep. And with ball in hand, you can generally take care of one, find a way to. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she's guaranteeing, she's get you know, probably guaranteeing that she's going to get back to the table sometime in the game. By time, I mean, now there is the two ball there that she could have, you know, maybe broke up some a, a second problem with, if you know, on that side of the table. But and she's left herself straight in on this too, so she has no angle to get to the three. Uh, and it doesn't. They. You know, I think maybe she wanted a little. Maybe she wanted uh, like a little so angle over here, maybe, so that she can shoot the two there and like maybe draw, drag, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. drag the cue ball into, into the three, maybe. Yeah. Uh, that might have been what she was attempting. Yeah, and they are, f they look like they're frozen together. If they're not frozen, it's, uh, you know, a piece of paper between them. Yeah, they're. I'm looking out at the table, too. They are pretty much frozen together. 
Here she may just, I don't know, just bump the three to the rail, try to leave the cue ball on the five. I don't know if, the, I don't even know if I don't she can even, do that. I don't think she could do that. She could do it just easy enough and have it slide off the five where Karen can still see it, but yet she, you know, all she has is a safety or a bank. She might even be able to thin, go off of the three, the cue like ball to the end the rail. The side or... Uh, she's uh that's a good shot mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, don't that's a that's a pretty nice shot there yeah yeah I think she's hooked now she had to hit that with the right speed to have oh. the neither the f the three or the five hit the cue ball and Karen is getting her jump cue so yes Karen of course she does jump she is yes she does she, she does it all yeah she is proficient with a jump cue You know, even though she has a snooker background and jump shots are completely illegal in snooker, she, once she started playing nine ball, she, she saw everyone else jumping, so yeah, I, I got to learn how to do that too. Yeah. Got to have every weapon in your arsenal at that level. And I was just wondering, you know, how many women actually have a Fargo rate over 700? Not that many. You know, probably Jasmine. How often do you see a woman with a Fargo rating of 660 and she's only a 20% to win? Yeah, you don't see that very often either. That's some really strong pull plane. And, uh, but don't let that 20% fool you. Uh, Brittany Bryant can, can play some pool. Oh, yeah. And she is more than capable of winning this match. Oh, absolutely. Nobody's been, I haven't seen anybody really, you know, break, uh, breaking and running. Yeah, uh, stringing racks. Yeah, it's string, well, you can't, it's alternating break. Well, you so can string racks, like if your opponent dry, breaks dry, you run out, and then you break and run out, and opponent breaks dry, uh -oh. you run out, you know, that type of thing. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, ended okay, it ended up on the rail. <laughs> she may still shoot at it. If, if she, she can slide yeah. it under the eight, maybe. Yeah, if she can do a two-way shot, but no, she's not going to. She's just going to run them out. Three. Yeah, she has a little bit of angle on the four. She can come back out for the five. You know, five to the six, you know, that's probably going to be the key shot this rack. No, well, not seven's in a funny place. It's Yeah, but if she gets on the six, six to the seven should be pretty easy. Yeah. And yeah, she's got a nice angle here to be able to just come back down just below the uh, this left-hand side pocket for a shot on the six. Yep, right back towards her. Yeah. Just below the side pocket. Probably about the diamond out of it. Yep, she's got a little bit of angle. She can go to the end rail and back up towards the seven. And then she wants a little angle there so she can punch off the rail for the eight. Yeah, she wants a little bit of angle on the seven. So ideally, she'd like to have the cue ball back right where it is now. Yeah. That, that would be perfect. That looks pretty good. Yep, that's perfect. Nice shot. Yep. That's even better than where it was <laughs> a second yeah, ago. Yeah, she's <laughs> got, you know, doesn't, ha you can, you know, the cue ball isn't going to have to travel so far over. She can stroke this one. Yeah, exactly. Or before she was going to have to kind of, you know, if she had that other angle, she'd have to roll it a little bit. Here mm -hmm. she can stroke the ball. And she did. Perfect yeah. angle on the eight. Yep. Kept, uh, Maintain the angle on the proper side of the ball there to be up so the cue ball is naturally going towards shape on the nine. And here she wants just about anything but straight in for the nine ball. I like this angle here. Yep. Go to the rail good. and back. Yeah, always leaving herself angle. Never, you know, never leaving herself straight in unless unless the it's shot calls for being straight in. Yep. That's important to be able to run out of rack to continue your run is. Always leave yourself angle. Don't don't leave yourself straight in, and unless it's necessary. Angles are what let you get from one one shot to the next. Yep. Game number one, Karen Core, and it will be Karen's break. I'm gonna switch. switch. I'm gonna switch over to. Uh, 
I'm just say switch the camera conclusion. The conclusion. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, the conclusion of this game here while they rack. It's Hill Hill. This is what we were watching during between our feature matches. And Julie's played safe on the seven. That nine is hanging deep in the hole there. Kia, I, I might bank at the nine here. And if mm -hmm. you don't to make me, it... To me, it looks like the nine's on the rail. Is it on the rail? Yeah, that's how it looks to me. What it, but it, it called the nine. And if you miss it, because if it is on the rail, if you miss it, you're not leaving her a shot, really. And she called it all the way up. Yeah, Bill Mack, there are plenty of, of people out there that uh, agree with uh, with that way of thinking. I did a bunch of kicking yesterday. <laughs> or you only should be allowed to jump with the full cue, not a jump cue. Yeah. Uh, she's spread these wide open. Is that one, one getting kicked in? Yeah, it did. The one ball went in, but no shot on the two. Yeah. And I guess they are wrecking their own because Brittany just wrecked that. Yeah, they did that at the last tournament too. <laughs> <coughs> Which reminds me, I didn't go over the rules. Oh, what rules are we playing? I can probably go through these real quick while they try to figure out what to do with this mess of balls. Yeah, I'm, uh, Brittany's going to be pushing right. out here. We are playing some mostly CSI rules 10 ball. One of the deviations is it's rack for your opponent instead of rack your own. It is alternate break. It is call, ball, and pocket. If you don't make the ball that you called into the pocket you called and something else goes in, that would be called an illegally pocketed ball, in which case the incoming player would have the, the option to accept the table as is or pass it back. And as always, the three foul rule is in effect. Yeah, this was a push out, and I think Karen passed Karen it back. Karen gave it back All to right. her. Hmm, that's the second person to say that, but other people say no echo. Anybody else hearing an echo on our talking? I hope it's just on your end and not something we're doing wrong. Yeah. I don't see anything on my end that could be causing the echo. You don't have uh, the, uh, you have the mic turned off on the new camera too, the, the rover. Tammy says no echo. Annie says no echo. Echo. <laughs> in the there's, standard. There's a, there's in the echo. standard. There's an echo in the chat room. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's a really big room because <laughs> that was a long echo, long delay. All right, so it's probably something on your end, Bill. Make sure you don't have uh, us open in two browser tabs. <laughs> All right, Brittany's uh, jumping. Lining up the jump shot. Oh, oh she wow. She drilled that. Safe behind the three? Saying that's where I need my clapping thing or my thing, you know. Even though she didn't make it, that was a hell of a Oh, that would definitely to, deserve a clap. Yeah. Uh, Kia Sidbury has defeated and Fireball. And has eliminated Julie Fireball Cooper from the tournament. Hill Hill match. All right, now. Karen's let. Uh yeah, there, Annie's got your back. She's clapping for you. Yay. Thank you, Annie. So Brittany's looking at a long, tough shot on this two. I mean, she's probably going to be playing safe. I don't think she's going to go for this two because how do you get to the three if you if you go for this two? Yeah, you, get her, you got five balls to try and get around. So, you know, that's too many needles to be threaded there. Bank the one up table and put the cue ball in behind the nine. <laughs> yeah, and that's what she's doing, banking the two up table, but I know what you meant. Oh, what, uh, what did I say? You said the one, but I know oh. what you meant. Uh, and she, did she get there? It doesn't look like it. Well, 
Yeah, she can either. No, she's uh, she's kicking. She's gonna kick at it. She's lining up to kick. So she's gonna try to kick. You know, the two ball in that direction, and the cue ball will come back this way. Is what she's what she's hoping for. Yeah. Even though she's called the two in the kicking side. Kicking safe. Yeah. Like Bill Mack said. And that's exactly what she's doing. Perfectly executed. Nice shot there, Karen. Yeah. <coughs> Two ball went down and uh, doesn't look like it's frozen to the end rail. Karen didn't even, you know, go over to look at it. But the problem is, is that it's on the rail, like almost in the middle of the two diamonds, so that anybody <laughs> knows the diamond system. It's, uh,. Should be a, a an, an easy kick, but maybe not to make. But she's probably called it in the corner, I would imagine, because it's right on the rail. If you hit it, you're probably going to make it. Oh. Just missed it. All right. Ball in hand for Karen. Let's see. Two what and a three. Obviously, no problem. Do? Does it go in between the five nine, maybe? I don't even know if she can. I don't even know if she can make the four ball, let alone the six. I don't know if the four goes by the five. It all definitely goes in the other side. The I mean, three yeah. pockets on the other side of the table, and it looks like it goes up table, too. Yeah, but you know, get, the eight. getting there from the three could be a bit tricky. When she shoots the two, she could leave the cue ball right on the rail to leave herself a little bit of angle to go up to spin up table for the three, or she could bounce off the rail from the two and leave herself angle on the three, either one, uh. to bring the cue ball you know, all the way down table here, like down between the four and the ten. No, she's going for... She's going for the three foul. She's putting the cue ball down there. Brittany's only on one right now. She's not on two, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's but, only on one. But it's still, it's a real easy... Um, she's going to go to the side rail, to the end rail, and back up. She wants, she wants to ideally get her up underneath this nine ball. Oh, this looks pretty good. She can freeze her in there. Oh, look at this. That is going to be, well, it's going to be a tough one to hit kicking at it, but it's not that bad yeah, of a jump shot. Yeah, she can shot. jump it. She's going to she's gonna jump this one. Oh, yeah. You better believe it. <laughs> I don't know. She looks like she can see between that um, Yeah, she's going to She's going to jump. But she's going to look, but I think she's going to jump. And she's got her jump cue out. She's probably going to call the two in this bottom right corner. I think she has called it. Ooh, get out of there, cue ball. All right, good hit. And has not left anything too easy for Karen. I don't know that that two goes by the three. Yeah, I think she got like six r six rails there. <laughs> <laughs> counting the the points of the side pocket is two rails. <laughs> no, no, I was counting all of the double kissing going on oh. there <laughs> because the cue ball jumped a couple of times on it there. Mm -hmm. So she got like six rails with that hit. <laughs> she's probably gonna try to bank the two ball back down table. Maybe cue ball behind the seven. No, she's just going for the bank she's on the two. Yeah, you know, there she can, you know, holding the cue ball like that at that speed. She knows she's just leaving Brittany something long and tough. But mm -hmm. Brittany, again, you know, hopefully try and. Uh, yep, she's looking at the safety. At the safety again. Looking at banking the two out of there. Trying what to if she just cuts it towards the side rail? And bring the cue ball back in behind this 9-5 again. Yeah, so, you know, cut the two kind of this way. You know, cue ball comes this way and back up behind those balls. Yeah. Something like that. Well, it's kind of a repeat of the first time she and had she that. She safety. hit it better. Uh, yeah, I thought it was going to stop right on the back of the 9. Still, you know, right up against the rail. Taking options away from Karen. Yeah. yeah, she does have the one rail up and down table. Uh-huh, and she's going to call it in that bottom corner. Or maybe the side. No, I think uh, the corner. Uh, maybe she would decide if you're kicking it at the side, where's the cue ball going now? 
Well, if I was to call a pocket, I'd probably call the side. If I was kicking at the end rail, she's called the corner. Wow, mm. she's completely missed it. Slight miscalculation. Yeah. And, you know, that might be a good reason to try to kick for the side because if you miss it long like she did there, maybe you still get contact. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, ball in hand for Ms. Bryant. So still, you know, two and a three won't be a problem. Four ball still could be a little problematical. Mm -hmm. That's for you, Annie. I think she's going to go forward two or three rails back underneath the four here. Yeah, she's got good angles. She can, yeah, go spin you know, forward with some some uh, inside. Yep, and just aiming for that gap between the four ten. And is she gonna get there? Is she there? gonna get down there? I think so. Yeah, looks good. As it goes <laughs> up in the corner. Like half a revolution more would have been perfect, but she can work with this. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that a happy cool nerd? I think that I think she's showing her appreciation. Yeah, but it's the glasses at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and here you take you play the you play the shot and you roll it to the mm. hole so that you stay behind. Does that six ball go past the nine? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. She may have to like follow to the rail and back out, try to bump the six while maintaining position on the five. This could be Ooh, I think she was trying to just brush it. Yeah. I think she was trying to just brush that eight out of there and just missed it. She could probably get she might be able to break it here too. Yeah, to the rail and back yeah. and in, into the six. Draw to the about the to be right there, yeah, just below the nine and run into it. And if she rubs the six and then hits the eight, she'll have a shot on it in the side pocket probably. Yeah, I mean, ideally you'd like to uh, hit the eight on the way out because then it'll glance off the eight and you'll be straight in on the six. But if you miss the eight, then you got nothing. Yeah. You got bugger all is what you got. It's a new one I learned. Oh, oh no, a little too much right spin. Well, we're unless gonna unless find the out nine it goes. unless the six goes by the nine. Well, we're gonna find out in a minute. But the speed at which she hit that, I think she was she was trying to run into him. Yeah, uh, well, here even if it doesn't, you bank it to the end rail, and use the nine as a blocker. Have the six ball come to the end rail and back up behind the nine, and the cue ball on the side rail. Yeah, that's what she's looking at. Well, it's one of the things she's looking at. <coughs> it doesn't look to me like it like the six goes past the nine in the corner. So you're saying, you know, just kinda shoot the six down here, cue ball comes over here, so you got the nine ball in the way. And that's what she's doing. Well, she, I mean, she's left a rail first shot, but yeah, at, least, at least it's not like, you know, a straight in shot. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, you probably don't even have to get it to the end rail, just getting the cue ball to the side rail. Because you leave something like this, the closer it is to the hole or one rail, you know, the other way. When it's in the hole, it's easier for people with these ladies' capabilities of yeah. pocketing the ball. Yeah. I mean, yeah, sh this is a relatively easily makeable rail first shot, but it does look like that 10 ball is going to be in the path of the cue ball. So that could be a problem. Of course, it's entirely possible I'm seeing that angle wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. No, she should have, she should have called the 10 and played the 10. I can't believe she <laughs> didn't billiard that 10 in. She's no. Karen Core. <laughs> she loves going for those 10 balls, man. I like it. All right, that safety has earned Brittany a nice shot at this six ball. Yeah. 
dead. She's just got to get out of there without. And so you just you do like a center ball. Don't try and get down table further. Just straight back and forth. Uh, she she got a shot there, but mm, I didn't like <laughs> that. If I'd have hit it, I'd have rubbed the other side of the nine and been hooked. <laughs> yeah, she could have uh, just gone to the rail and back towards us. You know, like out towards like the foot spot area, longer shot on the seven. But yeah, she wanted. Yeah, she felt she felt confident doing it this way. But yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Somebody once told me <laughs> if you don't have to run into a ball, if if or if a ball already goes, already has a hole, you don't run into it. You don't run into stuff you don't have to. And what do they know? There's probably someone who knows nothing about pool. Someone like Buddy Hall or someone like that. Yeah. Sarcasm meter. Pew. Ooh. Oh, hey, this is one of my favorite shots. In the corner, come around three rails. Three rails. Except the three rails is going to be coming around to, like, short side of the ten. Uh, no, you just uh, uh, you, you, you go just to the third rail. You don't oh, have gotcha. to fire it. Just coming off the side rail. So, yeah, so nine ball this way, cue ball this way, over here, and then just stop out here yeah. for a cut shot on the ten. Yeah, because that's a shot she's uh, very capable of making. Yeah, they finally put us up on the big screen. Yeah. They were showing like infomercials or something before. <laughs> yeah, why? Well, when I uh, <coughs> ordered my breakfast, I said, you know, at noon we'll have Karen and Brittany playing if we want to put it on the big screen. Uh, she's gonna uh, shoot this in the side. Is she going to try to run into the 10 with the cue ball? Yeah, I tried to. Ran smack into it. That, that, nice turned, shot. Out, that turned out really nice. <laughs> <laughs> that ended up pretty. All right, nice, nice out, Brittany. Nice out, Brittany. Ties it back up. One apiece. So, thanks for tuning in today. Yeah. We are Kevin and Sherry Ross. We are Railbirds. Hola. Howdy, howdy. Bone jaw. <laughs> yeah, what she said. <coughs> We're coming at you live from Eagle Billiards here in Dixon City, Pennsylvania. You're watching the North American Pool Tour. Freedom Classic. I think they are doing rack their own. Yeah, so they're yeah, doing they rack are. their own. So it's going to be Karen's rack and break. Yeah, and the tournament director is okay with them deciding yeah. amongst each other <coughs> to do it because it's what the, the actual rule is. You know, they've changed, the NAPT has changed it to the uh, opponent racks. So. Hello, Chris Robbins. Good morning, Chris Robbins. Pardon me. Yeah, and Giselle, that would be uh, eight ball, nine ball, and ten ball combined. Is you know, Fargo rate combines them all. They don't, yeah. they don't separate them by game. Uh, it's uh, did you win or lose, and what was the score? Yeah, they uh, combine eight ball, nine ball, ten ball, and they also combine seven foot tables, eight foot tables, nine foot tables. It's all bunched into one score. Kitty. <laughs> Nice shot, Karen, to start with. Yeah, it was. She got really good on. Where are all the Where are all the balls? <laughs> uh, I think they all went in on the break. She's just going to slide to the side rail below the side pocket here and back out towards the center of the table. Yeah, she'd have liked a couple, three more inches on it, but she'll be all right. She's just going to 
cut the three in a little bit of center maybe left hand English so that it's uh, keeping her angle better there we go yep. now the six does it go in the side it looks like it does yeah she's just gonna get on the six in the side probably uh, she can just come one rail straight off of the five but she may uh, she's gonna use a little bit of center left here and just come off one rail Yeah, that looks pretty good. Just drop this six in the side. Key wasn't going to come out for the seven. Yeah, and uh, she'd probably like to have the angle to go up to the end rail. Yeah, yeah that's for what the I was eight. thinking. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking leave it, you know, like around here. Yeah, wherever so you can, it is. <laughs> yeah, so you can uh, shoot there. Key ball comes naturally around. Two rails straight up the line. You're at so the you're line that you want for the... Uh, to get to the 10. Yeah. And that's what she's doing. Spin around. Nice yeah, that's shot. That's pretty good. Yeah. Now she could shoot this and go back and forth to come down table, but I think she's just, because she does have a little angle where the cue ball's running towards the side rail, but I think she's just going to push forward to the side rail and bounce off a little bit. She's not going to hit this with any kind of speed. No, she's just going to follow to the rail and down. Like so. Nice out. Uh, uh, break and run. Break and run. That was a break and run, yes. Well, it's because she made like 12 balls on that break, even though she only racks <laughs> 10 of them. Not sure how that works, but she found a way. Somebody played some really good music this morning. Some of it was a little hard, but now, you know, it's settling into some better stuff. Are you just trying to tease our audience because we're not going to let them hear it? You know it. <laughs> In fact, just for that, I'm going to turn up our music. Okay. See, I got this here ready for you, so I can just plug you into your phone so you're ready with the sound effects. Yeah. I'm ready for you. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was waiting for... 9 o'clock? No. <laughs> I was waiting for you to finish what you were saying. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Well, that was disastrous for Brittany because she scratched on the brake and spread these out very nicely. The only real problem is this 6-7. You know, making the 6 is not a problem. Just 6 to the 7. Should be, actually, that should be okay because she can come under the 7 to the rail out. So 3-ball, 4-ball, 5-ball. Yeah, she went to make 2 balls on the brake, the 1 and the 2. Yeah, and the cue ball, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. As long as she gets back out here to the center of the table for the four ball, that'll allow her to get back to the five nicely. So she's come up a little short. She may just go to the side rail and shoot the five in the corner. Yeah, and yeah, you know, she'll put a good stroke on it to where if um if, if she if anything I'd want to over hit it so that I come out further and I can still shoot the uh, the five in the side. But she may just do a nice draw shot over. She's got, uh, seems like good speed control right now. Bounce out. That's nice. That's almost, she could shoot and stop right there. Well, yeah, I mean, I think she wanted a little angle. I think she'd rather be closer to the center of the table and a little bit closer to the six. I don't think she wants to be trying to shoot this six with bottom left, draw under the seven from, from that far away. It's a lot harder from over there. Because she's going to be forced to shoot a stop shot yeah. or even roll forward a little. Or she would rather have a little bit of angle on this five so she could bring the cue ball out here. And then yeah. you can just shoot the six underneath out with a seven. But from this far away, that same shot's a lot harder. She may even run into the seven. 
I mean, she'll probably end up okay, but it's a lot harder from here. That's just going back and forth and going underneath it. Yeah, I think, That's a nice shot. I think she's going to get That's there. That's a nice shot. That's pretty good speed. That's a nice shot. So now she can uh, go to the rail and come out and go to the, you know, push out to the center of the table. Yep, yeah, I definitely like following forward as opposed to trying to like draw back for the eight in the side or yeah. something like that. Yeah, like the cue ball is naturally going over there. There's some center ball, maybe a little, little above center, just to get it to push out because she wants angle to go down. Yeah, yeah she wants angle for sure. Yeah. <laughs> And she has she, angle, but not yeah, a lot. Yeah, she got a little straighter than she wanted here. She could probably she could follow forward and shoot the nine in the other corner, or she could kind of pound this out, you know, to the rail and back out. That's what she's queuing it for. To pound it out. Yeah, pound it out. <laughs> and eight she ball. did. The eight ball hesitated a little before dropping. And looked and said, "Oh, wait a minute, that's uh, Karen Core." <laughs> <laughs> I better get. In, I better get in a hole. Uh, I better get in my home. All right, nice out there, Karen. Nice run out from Brittany's scratch on the break. So that's two table runs. See, you can string wrecks in. Yeah, in well I know you can. Break. It's a whole lot harder to though on well, alternate abs break. Absolutely, it is. Yeah. And now Karen is looking for another break like she had last time, where she makes you know, m more than 10 balls on the break. Actually, I think she only made three balls, but it sure seemed like more. Yeah. yeah. Now they're playing New Order. Quite the variety of music. Uh, Karen um, and they were having some. Denise said they were having problems with the magic rank the other day, yesterday. Uh, yeah, that's what Denise Belanger was saying. Yeah. And I've I've had that happen before, um, where no matter how you rack on, they they don't they don't freeze together. And that's usually an issue with the the balls, like if you have an older set of balls and. Maybe they're not uh, from the same set anymore. They've been yeah. mixed and matched, and so they're not all exactly the same size anymore. All right, looks like dry break for Karen. But has not left anything for Brittany. Yeah, just a rollout it looks like. And she's looking for, you know, yeah, where, where can I, where can <laughs> I put Karen that if she gives it back to me that I'm okay with shooting. Because last time she gave it back to her. Yeah. Um, she may cross this, try to, you know, cross bank the one. Three railing one out of there I don't think is an option. It looks like the one would hit one of those other balls on the other side. So that would I don't think the three you know, trying to three rail the one out of there. I don't think that's I don't think that's an option. Yeah, here. that four ball is pretty big trying to do that. Yeah, so she may just try to cross the one. That's what she's doing. Nice shot. And she hook her with the two. I think she did. I think she is hooked. Snookered. I don't know. She's getting down on it pretty quick. <coughs> well, maybe she can see. It's uh, pretty close. Yeah, I think if you have a progress rate over 700, I think that means you win a lot. 
Uh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, nice shot. Speared it in the hole. And she's got a shot on the two. The old long, almost straight in. It's yep. not, a, not an easy shot, but it uh, is a shot. But uh, fortunately, all she, you know, she can, all she has to do is go forward some for the three ball. Yep. So she doesn't have to try and make her cue ball do something. It actually looks like she has a little bit of angle where she might be going towards the nine. All right, nice shot yep. by Brittany on that two ball. That was a tough shot. It's a nice stroke she put on that. Stayed yep. with it the whole way. Yep. This she'll probably hit this nice and easy. Yeah, she'd like the three ball to stay right there. Oh. Or fall. <laughs> Go in. Yeah. It's okay. Go yeah, in. It's she'd okay. Been all right if she'd been okay with it falling there. In fact, she'd probably prefer it. Yeah, because <laughs> she's got really good angle from the yeah. to go from the four to the six there. She's just going to draw out of here a little. Nope, she's just going to roll it in. Just touch it in. Now she'll draw off of this ball Yeah. to the side rail and back towards the uh, six ball for the six ball in the side pocket probably. She doesn't look like she's drawing this, really. Is she going to try to follow around the nine? Mm-hmm. All right, nice shot. Looks like she kind of put some put some kill on it. Yeah, and she's had a little steeper angle than she wanted on the six ball, but she should be okay. Cue ball will go down in between the uh, the seven, eight, and back up. Oh, she's drawing it. Probably to the side rail over where the 10 is and back out a little bit. Nice shot. Looks like she can just follow one rail to the bottom rail back up to the center of the table for the eight in the same corner. Get there, cue ball. Something Get there. like about almost... <laughs> Almost. A little short, but. So <laughs> close. I think she'll handle this. Yeah, she's just going to have to go an extra rail that she didn't want to back and forth. Yeah, so cue ball like this. Those were almost straight. <laughs> Been practicing. No, she decided to stay this side of the table, a little bit more conservative, but that's perfectly fine. Yeah, maybe she didn't want to put too much on it and end up going, you know, past it and having to shoot something like that again. Yeah. No, this is nothing wrong with this. To the end round, back straight down at the 10 ball, chasing some shape. Just don't corner hook yourself there. No. Man, this one you gotta remember to cut it that uh just slight little bit. There you go, like nice so. out Brittany. Well done. <coughs> Brittany hanging tough. Three two and it is Brittany's break. It's gonna be Brittany's break, yes it is. You remembered and this is only game six. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know that's so unlike me. Wonder what Rick Downer's been up to. Haven't seen him around. Yeah, where's my auto ref? Should I go post on this timeline? I'm sure we've had at least one rules question over the last two <laughs> days so far. I should just go put when I um. He should be one of the people when I uh, when I post um and on Facebook that you know matches coming up and what it is. I should put it on his timeline. <laughs> All right, Brittany with the break.
All right, Brittany's made a couple balls on the break, but the ones that are still on the table have, are not really cooperating. I don't think that one goes, although the one four billiard might be on. That two nine is messed up. Just not getting any love here on the on the break. Billiard? Possibly, yeah. Where does the one go? Uh-oh. Yeah, that didn't turn out. No, uh, the cue ball. That is not the leave you're looking for. Yeah, cue ball got in our way. Well, it's all right. You know, look at the two. Um, is it the, yeah, the, two, the nine. two nine? It's ugly anyhow. You were going to play safe anyway. Center ball and bank uh, the one out of there. Uh, she's putting the cue ball down table. Bump to five, stay behind the six. Nope. nope. Hmm. Bump the wrong side of the five. But there's still that two nine. But unfortunately, when you pocket this, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's seven balls in the way. Yeah, seven balls in the way to come in and break it out. Does it bank? If she got down below the five, could she bank the two in? If she got all the way down the table, she might just bank the two out of there and try to play safe behind uh, one of those balls. And she's just going to get over there and play safe. Yeah, if she just kind of hits the two full stop shot, the two ball's going to gonna go out of there and leave the cue ball probably behind the five. <coughs> Looks like it might be what she's doing. Now oh. she's just thinning off of it and going to put it behind the ten. That's a nice shot. Good speed. <coughs> nice, nice touch. Yeah, she know, and with that, she knows she's not messing anything up. She's opening up the two with that softer one where, you know, if she does the other, you know, hit the two full and let it come out, get more chance of things getting funny at mm -hmm. that higher speed. One rail off, one off the end rail. She might be looking at coming two rails now. So that the cue ball will go, you know, maybe, you know, like she's looking at having it go between the nine five or rub the five and come below the nine and using the nine. Oh, she's calling the eight. Did she? Yeah, look I think to you like she just called that eight. It looked like she just called the eight. Yeah, why not? Got to call something. That's not a bad try. Is it going to bounce up for safe? No, it isn't. No, uh, no. Let's see. What's then next? She's got yeah, what's next after the two? The five is next. So, yeah, the five's right there. And five she's got table. angle just to go to the side rail and back up if she wants to shoot the five up table or in the side pocket. Like so. Yeah, but I think from here she's probably going to, she may play it in the side and slide yeah. off of it for the six in the same hole. That's what I'm thinking. Five and six both in the side. Not in the same shot. Two separate shots. It doesn't look like she's sliding off of it, though. Like she must not need to. Or she's shooting it in the corner. Shooting it in the corner. Ooh, a little uh, overruled her position just a hair. Uh, cool. and this she'll now she'll this will probably have to shoot, shoot the, in the corner. Shoot the probably shoot the seven in the side. Draw back to the seven on the left side. 
Well, Depends she could go a couple, you know, run run around the rails too for the seven, or is she straight in? She's got a little bit of angle. I mean, just it's the perfect angle to draw back just for the seven in the side, or maybe even to the center of the table. Yeah, she just put a nice little soft touch on it. Yeah. No. And this one, she'll want to come off of the rail and beyond the uh, beyond the nine to get on the eight, so that she has angle to get to yeah. the nine. Like so, <coughs> and she can just follow around three, you know, two three rails with a yeah. back to the center she, of the table. She'd like to be just a little bit closer to the center of the table than where she is right now. Um, for the nine ball, a little bit more to the left. Yeah. But yeah. She'll yeah. Yeah, she'll be following around through. Yeah, yeah, definitely like following through. Uh, the three rails. The three rails rather than trying to draw it. And that's what it looks like. She's going f uh, forward with some left spin. Yeah, she wants it to get a little further if it's going to go that far. So she can just pull it back a few inches to be straight in on the 10. Mm-hmm. Did Denise play the song? <laughs> that's the name of her team, right? Yep, that's her team name. Boom, boom, pow. Mm -hmm. All right, Karen Core, four to two in this race to seven. <laughs> See what do we got going on? Uh, oh, we got someone's heading away going on over there. Uh, uh, you got Kaylin's heading away. It's uh, Kaylin and uh, and. Uh, yeah, so over here, we, over here, with, is it Kaylin and Kozu? Is that who's yeah. playing? Yep. Kaylin Wyckoff and Kozu oh, Nakamura. Nakamura. One to one. And the rest of the room. I thought Kaylin was going to shoot a shot, but I guess she's waiting for the other table to do something. Yeah. Well, she's got to shoot the six ball, and it'll be a bank shot or a save or something over there. Maybe even a cut shot. Okay, they're both fighting over that, that aisle way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Karen Core to break. All right. Karen Core. And you can see Kaylin in the background. She overcut that ball. Ooh, cue ball. All right. Yeah. Brit ball in hand for Brittany <laughs> Bryant, but <laughs> that one ball's tied up. Uh, uh, she may be able to. Uh, are they, they both on the rail? It looks like they're both on the rail, or she could just play a little combination on the 1 3. And the two being right there, and then play the one ball in the same hole. If not, she can shoot the one all the way down the table yeah, where the 10 is. Yeah, but nobody likes that shot. Yeah, no, you're shooting past both points yeah. of the side pocket. Even with ball in hand, you don't like that shot. But I think if the one and the three, it does look like the three might be off the rail just the tiniest bit more, which means the one's going to push away from the corner if she plays that combination. But it does, she doesn't have to hit it hard for it to go. And the three ball only needs to go four or five inches. Maybe six. Yeah, if that... Uh, oh. Sup, Scott McDonald. Nice shot. There you go. Very nice. Maintained angle. So she can come off the rail for the three. Nice shot. Although, who where sh you know where this cue ball is, this is gonna be she's gonna, gonna be tricky to get back to the four because yeah, you know, she's gonna be kind of jacked up a little bit over the nine maybe. Yeah, she's got to spin it three rails around again. 
Okay, she can bridge around the nine. Okay. So she's gonna looks like she's gonna follow three rails. Ooh, she handled that's, that nicely. That's a nice angle to the rail and back uh, to probably about where the foot spot is for the five ball. Mushroom may not even come that far. Yeah, if anything, you'd rather come up short and then come around two rails for the six. Or even follow one rail to the end rail and back and yeah. back up. And I think that's the angle she has. I think she has the angle to follow one rail to the end rail. Or maybe even follow two rails with some right spin. In by behind the six. Behind the six. And that's uh, what she's attempting. Don't rub it. Oh. That's the one reason why I don't like that shot is because you, that is, is a possibility. Mm -hmm. And I do it a lot. <laughs> Just a little too much spin, you know? Yeah. It's easy to do. Yeah. Yeah, this is a tough shot. Shoot with the bottom left, dig in deep. Draw it to the side rail, back to the center of the table. It's tough. Well, just bank it out of there, three rails to the end rail, and draw the cue ball back to the side rail and underneath the eight. <coughs> yeah. Six side rail, end rail down there at about the middle diamond, past the side pocket. And onto the end rail and draw the, the cue ball to the side rail and back underneath it. Or follow, you know, six ball this way, cue ball this way. Oh, she drilled it. Oh, she nice hit it, ladies and, and gentlemen. Position off the 10 for, for <coughs> the 7. Nice shot. Man, she's like, no ducking here. Heck no. She came to play. I want to shoot. Oh, no. Get there. Get there. Come on. Come on. All right. She's all right. Yeah, she's going to come two rails sharp out of this uh, bottom. Or yeah. This bottom right-hand corner here. Yeah. Two rails, you know, go this way, this way, back out that way. Something like that? Yeah. And if anything, she wants to, you know, come, come along, come along, get, get, get. Okay. She's got angle. She can go to the side rail and back over. For the ten ball in the in this bottom right hand corner. <coughs> You're saying come long, come long. I think that was the uh, name of that mystical city in the the defenders. Mm. <coughs> oh, oh no. no! She's just gonna rub off of it and send the yeah, cue ball just, down table. Just. Feather it. <coughs> Man. Something's got my throat. This is, I mean, it, it, it looks like it should be easier than it actually is, this shot. She has executed that's, it nicely. That's perfect. Especially if that cue ball freezes on the end rail, that's a, that's a good shot. Yep, she has executed that shot quite nicely. We were just talking about that, you know, something similar to that uh, last night. Instead yeah. of just, you know, so just, rubbing rolling, it, up just it? rolling up on it. Yeah, I vastly prefer something like this versus just rolling up on top of the ball. And uh, Karen's called the, the long table bank on this. <coughs> yeah, I... I prefer going for the bank then rather than trying to play safe back yeah. here. Did she call it in the side? <coughs> because she was kicking wow. at it. Because she was kicking at it, I would expect her to call it in the side. Maybe. 
Yeah, the uh, she called it in the side. Nice shot, Karen. Did you see the yeah five two? She did, wow. I thought she called it in the corner. No, uh, she was kicking it, trying to doing the safe to the side rail and to the end rail. Yeah. Okay, now I get it. Yeah, she was kicking behind it, uh, trying to play with the perfect speed where it goes to the side rail and then the end rail. But you call it in the side in case it goes. Yeah. Because that's where it's likely to go yeah. if, if it goes anywhere. Yep. There's one to put in your book of things to remember. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I do that a lot. You know, I <coughs> call it in the side you know, when you're kicking behind it, but I don't usually make it. <laughs> I don't think Karen usually makes it either. She was uh, laughing and giggling about it. All right, we are back from break. <laughs> it looks like we have Brittany looking at a shot on this one. Thin cut, if she can reach it. I don't think she can reach it. Looking for a bridge. Yeah, Kelly Jones versus Judy Wilson. I don't even need, even know what table they're on. I can't. I don't know. Um, they were. They just finished. Because Kelly was playing over there, where um, they're putting Caroline and um, whoever she's playing, or no, where um, where Naomi is practicing. She was just playing right there. But yeah, Caroline and Naomi are getting ready to play. So, so that, that match is over. That match just ended a little bit ago. I don't know who won. But uh, if you were wanting to know, were they asking about Kelly? Uh, uh, Kelly well, Jones versus Judy Wilson. Yeah. <coughs> I can go check the... Uh, the uh, paper bracket here and see who won, but uh, they're both uh, not, well, I can't say they're both not playing. They might, the winner may be playing. All right, safety by Karen has left Brittany with a partial view of this one ball. Yeah. Looks like she's looking at trying to <laughs> bank the one. She's looking at, yeah, she does. She looks at everything <laughs> and gets me gets me going down <coughs> the wrong path. Nice safety there, Brittany. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll go uh, look at the score on that match. Okie doke. We'll be right here watching some good pool. It looks like she has maybe just enough window between that 4 7 to kick at it. She can definitely go two rails, you know, like around that, uh, like by that upper corner. Yeah, she can definitely go two rails that way. Looks like she has just enough room to go between that four seven. And she called the one I think she called the one on the side. Alright, that safety has earned her a ball in hand. So the um Kelly Jones, uh, Judy Wilson, Judy won Hill Hill. All right, way to go, Judy. 
All right, so here it looks like with ball in hand, I think she can shoot the one probably in the side, roll forward, break out that 3-6 while maintaining, you know, while maintaining a position on the two. Yeah, she would like to run into the six here. Because that'll push into the three. But I was thinking the one on the other side. I was thinking one on this side, you know, cue ball over here, roll forward, break those out, so you still have a shot on the two. Looks like she's oh, a 210. How about okay. the 210 combination? I didn't even see that. Okay. How did you not see that? I don't know. Man, you drink that coffee I just brought Yeah, let me drink this coffee real quick. Let me wake up. Ooh, hot. Oh, and she's going to break out the three. Uh, she gonna, oh, I thought she was going to hook her. But no, you know, she's left her a shot <coughs> up the corner. Does it pass the seven? Yeah, it looks like it to me. Pretty yeah, sure it looks does. like it's a tight window. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it goes. Yeah, the wooden triangle, it's nice when you can, yeah, talking about you can always just throw the balls in there. It's really good mm -hmm. like when you're mad, you can toss them in there, rack, rack them around. <laughs> <laughs> Like Keith McCready in The Color of Money when he's tossing the balls into the rack. and <laughs> Kind of like that, yeah. You can't do that with the magic rack. you got to put them in there nice and gently and daintily and nudge them into position. It's not the same. Uh, just brush the seven. I think she's left a window where she can see the two, probably bank it out of there, leave the, probably leave the two ball behind the seven. And that's what she was looking at just now, looking at where the two ball was going to go. Down to this end rail. Yeah, Brittany uh, is a very deliberate player. She likes to explore her options before she rushes into anything. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes it takes you, uh, sometimes it takes you a, a few extra seconds to see a better shot. If you just rush in and shoot the first thing that springs to mind, you may miss a better shot. <coughs> I think she. Has let her see this two ball, maybe enough to make it. Yeah, it looks like it. Playing safe. She's trying to wheel that ball back in there behind that four. <laughs> <coughs> oh, let me check what's the let me check the bracket here. See uh, what's coming up. So the winner of this plays again at four p.m. today. So if Karen wins, she will definitely be playing it again at 4 p.m. and if she loses that's probably going to play today also uh -huh. so yes Karen Cora will be playing again today <coughs> win, win or lose this match Kay. same and same thing with Brittany Bryant we'll get Jane out of the way that four ball yeah, it's probably going to end up playing position for the 4-5 combination. Probably. Yeah, it looks like that's what she was trying to do, stop short on the 3 so she can... <coughs> yep. yep, that's the angle she has on the 3, just roll yep. forward for the combination. Yep. M mine is perfect to go to the side rail and yep. off of it, straight at it. And as long as you get, you know, as long as you get good on this combination, it's a pretty easy. Yeah. 
Although no, she's 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 good line. Yeah. I'm, like looking at, I'm looking at the angle, and it looks like it's the angle is going to take the four ball to the side rail. Yeah, but she has angle on the shot too, where she can go to over to it, where she's drawn out of there. Yeah, but she's going to have to play position for it. She can't just shoot a stop shot. Well, okay, I was seeing the angle wrong. My apologies. It sure looked like it had angle, yeah. where it was going to go to the side I rail. I was I was looking right at it. Oh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> My bad. Bounce out. She's got the angle to just slide down table for the seven. Yeah, she can just draw back a foot or so. Or two. She wants that ball to stop rolling. Yeah, don't don't get too straight. <coughs> yes. Yeah, she'd like to be able to go off the end rail straight up the angle at the eight, and I think she might have got too straight to do that. Yeah, she's gonna have to like you know just follow forward two rails now. Now you're coming you know across the eight. It looks like she's using a little bit of bottom right to come. Oh yeah, she's sliding out the two rails. But she has That's nice good good speed. Nice, very nice speed. That's a shoot and stop. Drop back two inches maybe. Yeah, that's good good touch on that shot. Yeah, she can draw <coughs> back two inches, six inches, whatever. But she's going to be almost dead straight in on this 10 ball. There we go. Like so. This 10 ball for the hill. Very nice out by Karen Kaur. All right, Karen Kaur on the hill. See you in a little bit, Matthew. Bring a couple friends. Come on by. Support the rooms that support pool. Absolutely. Yeah, they're uh, the Eagle Billiards. They're they're adding a lot of money to this tournament, so they would love to uh, have some people come in and fill yeah. this room up and maybe help them make some of that money <coughs> back. Yeah. Bringing a donation for Colin. That too. A precious baby that has cancer. So sad. All right, Karen Core with the break. Yeah, on the hill and breaking. Yep. Yeah, that's always a position you like to be in. Yeah, that's that's where you want to be. All right, she's, she's dropping <laughs> all the balls on the break again. Oh, look at this one ball. The one's going to roll right up there nice and pretty. The two right by the side. The three, I don't oh, know how that like three didn't fall. It is beyond the point of yeah, that this pocket. Is like, this is like a dream wreck when you're on the hill. Yep, cue ball's far uh, enough off the rails. She can cue into this any way she pleases. Yeah, and the I one like ball's not frozen, so, she, yeah, she can come I out. think I might like drawing back even two rails off of mm -hmm. the uh, end rail to yeah. the side rail and straight at the two. Absolutely. You can draw back, you know, draw two <coughs> rails, or I think she's going to follow two rails. Yeah, the drawing two rails, you know, keeps you on that line for the two ball, whereas yeah. following two rails goes across it. But yeah, well, she could have, if she stops short, she can play it down in the corner. Mm -hmm. um, you, but you would want to hit it clean so that you, if you rub the three out of there, you can end up in trouble. Yeah, the eight nine is probably the really only issue getting and from the seven to the eight. And five to the six also. You know, it, she could end up playing a six ten combination or two. She's been known to do that. I've never seen her do it this tournament. Well, I heard I've heard it's <laughs> happened. <laughs> I've heard it's happened, but I haven't seen it this tournament. Yeah, she is not above taking a splash at the cash. I wonder if Taruko's heard that one. I don't know. <laughs> right, well, there's going to be no six ten here. She's oh. straight on this five. <coughs> She's going to have to draw back. 
to just pass the side pocket or she can come even you don't want to try and come even further to get on the six in the side because then you could be running into the 10 or scratching or something no, just pull it back just past the side right where pocket. she is right where she is now yep that's perfect on a string today mm-hmm She's got that whitey on a string right now. That's racist. <laughs> I almost said that. <laughs> Denise was uh, Denise was ordering breakfast, and she said she wanted brown bread. And I almost <laughs> said, that's racist. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> In this politically correct climate, you never know. <laughs> This looks pretty good. Well, she looks like she can shoot us with some bottom right. We'll spin down for the eight in the left side. She oh, needs little, that ball to short, get there. A little short. This is going to be pushing that nine ball towards the ten. They, they could get tied up. Yeah, this is not automatic. No, not at all. She's She's, she may even be hoping that it, the nine goes in here, like off the ten or something, when she makes the eight. Or do it a little more controlled, just to roll, just roll the eight in. No, that turned oh out no. about as bad as you could hope for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she even when she tries to make a smirk or you know like a <laughs> like she's oh shoot she's got a smile on her face when she's doing it <laughs> like right <The> now oopsie <laughs> yeah like right now you can just see your face <laughs> yeah it's, it's a little oopsie <laughs> yeah and, wh and where's my urkel did i do that <laughs> oops well make it work hmm. plan b plan b kick it in Preferably two rails. And that's what she's doing. And that's going to sit pretty nice for Brittany. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, she can see it. Spin around it. Um, yeah, oh. I would I would probably use the right spin. and uh, You could go either way, right spin or left spin. Just, you know, center is the only thing that doesn't work. Yeah, it looks like she's <laughs> just coming straight off of it. All right. All right. Game number three. Brittany's still alive. Now, if, now if Brittany could... Uh, do a break. Uh, did they just switch to alternate break now? Because Karen just broke those. Uh huh. Now they I switch. Now they switch to uh, mm. rack for your opponent instead of rack your own. I don't know. Because <laughs> they were doing rack your own, or maybe they just decided Karen's going to rack them all. I don't know. Maybe they don't realize. Because Karen did just break those yeah, and almost did. ran them out. Uh huh. All right, oh. they're doing rack for your opponent now. They changed their mind. <laughs> they were doing rack your own. <laughs> Maybe they realized, oh, wait a minute, we're supposed to do rack for your opponent. <laughs> <laughs> that could be. <laughs> or maybe that one of them heard it, like uh, Brittany heard it when <laughs> from when us. We were talking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're supposed to be doing rack for your opponent. <laughs> Get out of there. Whew. Should make anything? Uh, uh, the cue ball go out, got out of there, but so did everything else. Yeah, dry break. <coughs> yep. And these are spread nicely. One of the two is going to be a little bit of an issue, but hey, I see a 510 maybe in the future here. No, what about a 110? One off of the rail into the 10, uh -huh. then the cue ball back over behind the 9 4. You cheese rider, you. <laughs> I'm just looking at the rack, and you know. Mm -hmm. I think she was looking at that too. On the hill, the question uh, that is needing one more game in the race is on the hill. Aaron, if that was what your question was. Or maybe the, or maybe the question was, is Karen on the hill? In yeah. which case, the answer is yes. Well, you know, we have the race, too. That's what the seven is in the mm -hmm. parentheses in the middle of the scoreboard there. Yeah, but not everyone realizes that. No, well, I'm, uh, that's why I'm pointing it out now. All right, that three ball was running some interference there. 
Then off the right side of the tube, bring the cue ball down underneath this 876. Scores four to one, but I don't know who that's in favor of. Um, well, I know that um, Kozu uh, was up two one at one point. So okay, so it's four to one because Kozu. it was one one, and I looked over and Kalen had missed the ten ball and left it right in front. I didn't I didn't see Kozu make it, but it was right in front of the side and the cue ball right there. Okay, so <coughs> we're thinking it's four two and four one in favor of Kozu. And Krista's game is oh Krista Krista I, I was, I, five. Yeah. I saw I saw Krista, but in my head I I thought mm. it was Kaylin. It's a five two, and I believe that I'm pretty sure that is in favor of Krista. So yeah, so Giselle wrote Krista, but I was thinking Kaylin. Oh, that five ball just rolled up in the way. <laughs> It was going to leave a shot, and then that five ball rolled up. And now this is this is a tough hit. She's looking at. Um, yeah. She's looking at kicking behind it. So I guess she can see. I guess yeah. she can see the end rail. I guess. Yeah, she's calling two down in the corner. Yeah, I didn't know she could see the end rail, but yeah, she was lining it up. So. I guess she can. All right, good hit, and she's gonna gonna get a rail. Then it's gonna be safe. Ish. Um, maybe. Ish. <laughs> She might be able to make this and roll forward for the three in the side. That's tight window. Looks like she's pretty good on this three. Looks like if she even has a little bit of angle, she can drift over for the four. No, oh, that's pretty straight. Oh yeah, she was pretty straight. Drew straight back for short side on the four. So. Remember what I said earlier? There might be a 5-10 combination uh, in the future. I'm still thinking there's still going to be a 5-10 combination here. Nice shot. All right, long distance. This is no hanger at this distance. This is four of the match. Center of the hole, nice shot, Karen. Good shooting, good shooting to you too, Brittany. Uh, this was an A-side match, so Brittany's still alive. She'll be playing uh, probably pretty soon, probably at 2 o'clock she'll probably be playing. Karen will be playing again at 4 o'clock. So good shooting to both of you ladies, and we'll have another matchup soon. So stay tuned.